Hi, everybody. So the manager of the prosecution, Jamie Raskin, Maryland. So he said the future of the country is January 6th if we don't do the impeachment. And you can't allow the idea that if a president engages in high crimes and misdemeanors in his last two weeks in office, he gets a get-out-free card. I'm essentially summarizing his comments. He's now showing video linking the president's address to video of rioting in the Capitol. They dropped the part where he said peacefully. I didn't, I didn't hear that. Maybe it was played and I didn't hear it, but I didn't hear it. And now are we back to Raskin now? Is that correct? Or is that who, somebody else? Yes, they're still showing video. You can't, we can't put it on because there's a language that we can't broadcast. It, it's so demagogic what is taking place now given the um, the footage of rioting last year for six months around this country that which dwarfs what happened in the capital they pushed down barricades i could i condemned it immediately that's not the issue everything in life is comparison There are, what is my old phrase? There are gradations of evil, gradations of sin. There are gradations of good. Nothing on January 6th came close to what happened daily in Portland for months. What happened in New York City, Chicago, Seattle. Okay, just as an example. But that's, uh, they're not showing the video of that. They're showing the video of January 6th. <laughs> it is so tempting, should the Republicans take back the House in two years, to impeach President Biden by showing what he has said and then connecting it to the rioters around the country they're, the only way the left learns is to be done to them as they do to others. There is no other way. No appeal to truth or decency or love of country. That, that's all a joke to them. It is just a joke. They, they must understand that when they open the floodgates of hell, uh, they get burned. I, I don't know of any, any other response. The dishonesty of showing this video, it's still being shown. What does the word say? Vice President Mike Pence is ushered off the Senate floor. So they're going through the, the January 6th events. January 6th is like the Reichstag fire. That's all it is. It is a grab for more power, and the proof is all of the uh, guardsmen in, in Washington, D.C. That's the proof. They will use, the left will use the armed forces for their benefit. Not for the countries, but for their own. They called in almost never National Guardsmen into the cities that were being wrecked by leftist thugs. Correct? They, the idea that President Trump would call in the National Guard, they found completely offensive. We don't need you. We don't need you. But Washington, D.C., where nothing has happened since January 6th, that we need you. It's all theater, my friends. Half, By the way, a half billion dollars worth of theater. But to the Democrats, spending a half a billion dollars is like you spending $19.95 plus shipping. <laughs> Do cite one of my... well-known commercials this is uh, this is what we're going to have to cover this week do you realize how much of my livelihood has been wasted on hysteria of the left it actually it disturbs me terribly because i have important things to talk to you about and the left doesn't allow it
they 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 suck up the oxygen in society with their hysterias. Because when this is over, uh, then there will be more hysteria on global warming. And the same thing will hold true. Those of those who differ with them are anti-science climate deniers. As if any of us denies that the world is getting warmer. We're not denying that. We're denying that your solution is, is decent, helps human beings, rather than creates a restructured society. Now they're continuing to show, what is this, what is happening inside the Capitol now? Are we now inside the Capitol? Yes. Well, the interesting thing is, I, I wondered that too, an insurrection without any arms. Yeah. No one, no one had guns, and no one was deliberately hurt. This is a, this is not just bloodless; it's uh, sprained ankleless. There were people who died, but we have no idea what, what they died from. It, it, they, nobody hit them. The officer who died, and we've been lied to about the fire extinguisher death. But what percentage of Americans right now believe that Officer Sick Cyclic? Sick Nick. Nick. I keep saying Sick Nick. Sick Nick. Officer Sick Nick, may he rest in peace. That uh, how many, what percentage of Americans believe he was killed by a fire extinguisher? 90? I'd say 90%. Yeah. Because the media lie to you. They say, oh, it was reported by officers. But they lie to you because they don't retract the lies. This is, this is you are living through another one of the gigantic lies. Because they need Officer Sicknick. They do. To show you how violent the, quote, insurrection was. It wasn't an insurrection. <laughs> if you use the word, you're, you're either... A true believer in the media or you want to manipulate language in order to hurt conservatives this is this is the world we're living in now taking up the space they're still they're still showing the video I guess they they made a film, they made a film. yeah that's a good way of putting it they made a film what is that in the background what was that uh, yellow do you have any idea God, can you imagine if something were done with regard to Antifa, BLM, and, the, and for months in this summer? It would be a week-long video. Won't be shown, my friends. It won't be shown.